there's just something about winter but here are my winter nails keep on watching <laughs> Hey beautiful people, I am back with a new nail video and one of my favorite seasons, winter. I know, mine is the cold, but I digress. <laughs> I don't think I have ever mentioned this, but, and I think it's pretty obvious, I am not a professional nail tech. I just love doing my nails. So yeah, I'm skipping the whole nail prep process because uh, I was out of frame for like, 90% of the time and I always notice at the end, but I'm gonna work on that. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip onto the nail art and make it a little short video. I actually wanted to mention that the snowflake idea actually came from my sister. She sends me these awesome reels and one of them was how to make a snowflake on nails and so I said let me try this I love winter so I gave it a try let me know what you think one thing that I wish I would have done was not use the black polish and you'll see it throughout the video but yeah next time I just won't use the black behind to put the glitter the white polish would have been way better. Well, yeah, keep on watching. One thing that really helped me do my lines very neat was to rotate my fingers, as you can see, and I cut my own natural nails very short so that it would help me with that little arch for that French tip. After I cure the outline for about 10 seconds, I don't wipe it off. I just put the glitter on. It makes it stick, so to speak. I really wish that I used the white polish under, all well, that purple-ish color under, just because usually when you put black under, the colors tend to pop out, but that was not the case on that one. So maybe next time. And of course, while editing, I've noticed that I went completely out of frame to apply the glitter. So I'll just explain. I basically just powdered all that glitter on. Of course, there's a paper under to catch all that glitter so not to make a big mess. And then I would cure the nail, then dust it off. I hope that makes sense. 